<laughs> hey, another welcome to OKC moment. Man, yes, this is your first year with the Thunder, and you're here. And, and what do you ultimately bring to this team, and what do you want to prove going into this season? Um, I think, like just like a lot of other young guys, I bring youth. Um, just a young guy. Uh, one thing that uh, Coach Tibbs in Minnesota told me is there's green tomatoes and there's red tomatoes. I'm a green tomato, so I'm coming in, I'm bringing energy and bringing defense and just bringing a lot of effort. Justin, you, you, you know uh, Stephen Adams. I, I can't wait. I, I don't usually get a chance to see y'all practice, but I wish I could tomorrow just to see the sheer size of you two because, man, you've been blessed with a great body. Yep. And you're, you're still young, and the sky is the limit. What do you say to yourself that first day of training camp when you're going in? Is it about conditioning? Is it, is it about uh, just fitting in? Is it about learning the plays right away? What's your mindset that first day of training camp? Um, I think the biggest thing for somebody like me coming in is new is just learning from everybody. And like, like you said, learning from Steven. Mm -hmm. He's already taught me so much just about just leverage and just how to play the game with my size and not trying to I uh, feel like I need to be big or anything, using what I have, my tools, and use them to my best advantage. So just learning from everybody and picking up things as the season goes on. Justin, how would you ultimately describe your game? You've you got a little experience in the NBA over the last couple of years, but for the fans that haven't seen you play, how would you describe your game? Um, I think right now it's a, it's a blank canvas, but uh, as far as like my abilities, I'm a versatile big man and um, on both on O and D. So I'm guarding one through five, and on defense, I can put the ball on the ground, uh, shoot threes, launch threes. But the biggest thing is, like, the greatest thing for me right now and being in OKC is the development here is crazy. And you see the players uh, that came before me have developed very well, and I just can't wait to be in that environment. And it already started and just getting better every single day. Well, you just said the, 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 some of the challenges of the first day of training camp. Uh, what's the biggest, I guess, objective for you when training camp is over, what do you what, what do you want to say after training camp is over that you did this or I, I was able to to to, to do this and you know, my conditioning or whatever? What would you say that one thing is? You know, say next Monday when you're heading to Tulsa. Um, just showing the coaches that they can trust me. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the big thing is just building trust in this process. So showing the coaches they can trust me when the, and not uh, not being unpredictable. You know, so going there doing what I have to do and and like I said, still learning. Well, I like that. And you got to make sure you, you say that to Billy Donovan, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> trust. He knows. trust is always a good word. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Justin, you were part of two big trades. You talk about playing for Tom Thibodeau. You were part of two Jimmy Butler trades. Yeah. What's it like as a player having to sort of reorganize your game and get your focus back after being a part of two trades like that? Um. Well, I, well it, was, it was great, honestly, for me. My first uh, situation was great. Second situation was great. The biggest thing for me was the injuries and being traded, uh, going to a new team and just showing them that I can work and do my rehab and do all that stuff. And uh, But the biggest thing wasn't the trade. It's probably like the injury part aspect of it. But I was traded with Jimmy Butler, and he, he helped me out a lot, just transitioning. You said that uh, Thibodeau was one of those guys who was instrumental and in, in, in just really helping you, you know, learn and mature in, in the game. Uh, any other guys, you know, in the past that's, that's like really been like – that type of guy, like, like a mentor. Like you, you're going to see Chris Paul tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You're going to see Danilo Gallinari, Dennis Schroeder, mm -hmm. uh, Nerlens Noel. You, you mentioned Stephen Adams. Any guys in the last couple of years, that's, a player-wise, mm -hmm. that's had that kind of influence or mentorship on you? Um, I would just have to say uh, Jimmy Butler. I was with him a lot um, just through like the trade and just being injured and him trying to keep my head on straight. Um, for some reason, he felt like he had something invested in me, and it helped me out a lot just having somebody. I didn't really have a vet. He was my vet. I'm having somebody to show me the ropes and just uh, make sure my head was even and I was learning and still trying to become a great player every single day through the injuries and stuff. All right, Justin. Well, best of luck here in Oklahoma City, and we look forward to watching you play. Thank you so much. And have a great camp, too. Yes, yes sir.